And now, I have the pleasure of introducing Andre DeShields. Everybody knows him. <laughs> Andre was the Triple Crown winner of the 2019 award season, garnering Tony, Outer Critics Circle, Drama Desk, and Grammy Awards for his universally praised role in Hades Town. In a career of more than half a century, Andre de Shields is a distinguished actor, director, philanthropist, and educator. He has starred in the original Broadway productions of The Full Monty, Play On, Ain't Misbehavin', and of course, The Wiz. And this is what you don't know. He is the ninth of 11 children raised in Baltimore and is quite a storyteller himself. Please help me welcome Andre de Shields. Thank you very much. I am delighted to be here this afternoon. I'm going to take this energy to my 7 o'clock performance at yeah. the Walter Curran Theater. Yeah. And as we say, slay them. Yeah. I have often visited the New York Historical Society, and it is my want to enter it from 77th Street, because there I am greeted by the spirit of whom I consider to be the greatest orator in American history, Frederick Douglass. It may seem odd to you, but I believe Frederick Douglass is exactly the linchpin for today's event, because we are groundbreaking in the name of freedom. And that was Frederick Douglass's struggle during his entire life, freedom. I can hear him now say, without the struggle, there is no progress. And for him, progress meant freedom. I believe if Frederick Douglass were here today, he's here in me, but if he were literally here today, he would not object to conflating the two struggles, the human rights for African Americans and the human rights for LGBTQI community members. Why? It may seem like they are different struggles for obvious reasons, but I want to suggest to you that the struggles are symbiotic, seemingly disparate, but mutually beneficial. Why? Because if one of us is chained, none of us are free. We can remove the shackles from a man's wrists. We can take the fetters off a woman's ankles. But until we remove the chains off of each of our minds, None of us can claim freedom. So, as a black American in what I affectionately call these united plantations, and as a queer black man, and as a performing activist, Perhaps I'm not the first, but I want to say for everyone who is gathered here today, the black struggle for civil rights and the queer struggle for human rights are conflated. We struggle together. 
a house divided cannot stand. We say diversity, equity, and inclusion. Frederick Douglass says freedom, but they all mean the same thing, that we can look at those grand words written by Thomas Jefferson and take them literally, that each of us is endowed by our creator with certain unalienable rights, life, liberty, and the pursuit of justice. And with the establishment of this museum, there will now be evidence that we are achieving those inalienable rights, our lives, our liberty, our pursuit of happiness. So, so thank you for allowing me those few words.